Okay, today in this video, we're going to look at the HC06 Bluetooth module. Now this module is a Bluetooth radio to serial converter. So if your project needs to go wireless, this might be the solution. Now if you look on the back, we can see the part number. It's a JY-MCU. And you could power to this, this device with 5 volts. But the TX and RX serial data lines will be at a 3.3 volt level. Now if we look at the front of the board, we could see four pins. Now two pins are the power, plus five in ground, and other two pins are the serial port, which is your TX and RX lines. Now this, this uh, module, the HC06, is, is configured as a slave module, as opposed to the HC05, which can be a master or slave. And on the HC05, you actually have two more pins. You have six pins, and it's actually programmed a little bit differently. Now when you buy this module off the shelf, it has certain default settings. So next we'll look at those uh, default settings. Okay, here are the default settings for the HC06 Bluetooth module. So when you buy one of these uh, modules new off the shelf, uh, this is what's going to be the default settings. So the baud rate will be 9600 baud, N81, which is no parity, 8 data bits and 1 stop bit. Uh, the name will be Linvar, L-I-N-V-O-R, so when your smartphone is scanning for a Bluetooth device, that's the name that will come up. And the pin code to pair it to your smartphone will be 1234. So if these three parameters are to your liking, then you can just go ahead and use the module as is. But if you want to change the baud rate, or the name, or the pin code, then you'll have to program the module. So next we'll look how we can program the HC06 Bluetooth module. Okay, here's the schematic of the HC06 Bluetooth programmer. And in the middle of the diagram, you can see the module with its four pins. The very left, you see the RX pin, and then the TX pin, that's your RS-232 port. Then the other two pins are ground and plus five, that's your power. Now those four pins are connected to the USB to serial cable. And on the very left, you can see the TX and the RX from the cable. And on the very right, you can see the power from the cable which powers the module. Now the, t now the TX from the, from the USB to serial cable is 5 volts and we have to cut it down to 3.3 volts for the HC06. So you can see a voltage divider there of a 1K and 2.2K ohm resistor which cuts down the TX uh, RS-232 level into the HC06 module. So that's basically the schematic there. So next we'll see how it is wired up on a breadboard. Okay, here's my setup to program the HC06 Bluetooth module. So basically what I did, I took the module and plugged it into a breadboard. And I got myself a USB to serial cable. And you can see there's four wires coming out of the cable. So two are, are plus five volts in ground, which powers the module. And the other two are, are the TX and RX RS-232 lines, which feeds the module. Now inside the connector here is actually the circuit board for the USB to serial converter. Now the TX from the module, from the, from the USB to serial, is 5 volts, so I had to cut it down with a voltage divider. You see here the two resistors, and that cuts it down to 3.3 volts, and that's what the Bluetooth module is expecting. Now to program the module, I use a, a terminal program such as PuTTY or TerraTerm. So next we'll look into how we program uh, the module using AT commands. Okay, here's a list of all the AT commands to program the HC06 Bluetooth module. And if you look up top here, we can see the default conditions for an off-the-shelf new module. Now to program the module, we have to abide by a few rules. Uh, the first rule is all commands have to be in uppercase, and there's no need for a return or enter key after the command has been sent. Now the module cannot be programmed if it's paired to any device, so the LED on board the module has to be blinking, indicating it's not paired to anything. And all commands have to be sent out at a baud rate of 9600, which is its default baud rate. So the first command we see there is AT, which stands for attention. So if you send out an AT and you get an OK back, that proves you're connected and communicating with the HC06 module. The next set of commands set the baud rate for the serial port on the module. So AT plus baud 4 will give us a baud rate of 9600. And it will go all the way up to AT plus baud 8 which gives us a baud rate of 115.2k. Next command there is to set the name for the module. So AT plus name, and you enter the name, 
and that could be in lowercase, and that will set the name of the module. The next command is to set the pin number for pairing. So AT plus pin, and I have one, two, three, four there, but you can put any four digit number for the pin number. The next command is to get the uh, software version of the module. So if the software version returned is greater than 1.5, then there's three more commands you could use for the, for the parity. You could set the parity for no parity, odd parity, or even parity. Now the biggest problem I see people have when trying to program this module is timing. So when you send out a command, as uh, soon as you send out the A character, the very first character for the command, the module will open a window for one second. So the command has to be written in one second after it sees the first character. Now you can't do this on the keyboard, you can't type fast enough to do this on the keyboard except for the AT command. Now the AT command you could actually type within one second, but the rest of the commands you can't. So what I do, I have this document open in Notepad on my desktop, and I copy and paste any of the commands I need over to my serial terminal program, which is open on my desktop also. That way the commands are entered into the module properly. Okay, this is my setup to program the HC06 Bluetooth module. And if you look on the right hand side, I have a notepad window up and running with all my AT commands. And if you look over to the left, I have TerraTerm running, which is a serial terminal program. And if we go out to setup and look at the serial port, you can see I have COM5 selected. So that's my USB to serial cable, which is connected to the module. I'm running it at a battery rate of 9600 8N1. So I'm all, I'm all configured to uh, communicate with the Bluetooth module. And because I have to send the command within a one second window, we have to use a copy and paste method. So if I go over to Notepad, and if I copy AT, that's the first command we'll send. And I'll copy that, and I'll paste it by right clicking into the TerraTerm window. And you can see I get an OK back, so we're communicating with the module. And if I do multiple right clicks, you can see I'm getting OK. So we'll, we'll take that off the screen and we'll go down to the AT version, the software version, and we'll copy that and we'll paste it over into the TerraTerm window and we see we got uh, version 1.5 running. So we'll get rid of that and we'll have a look at the pin number. We'll set the pin number to 1234. So we'll highlight that, copy it, and paste it in here, and we can see uh, the pin has been set. So it's set to 1234. If you want to set the name, same procedure, right click, copy, paste, and there's this name has been set. So we'll get rid of that, and the baud rate, we'll set to 9600, the default, we'll copy and paste that over there, and there's OK 9600. So one thing you gotta watch out when you're, uh, when you're selecting, uh, you're highlighting into the notepad there that you highlight just the text, if you go over into the spaces like that and you copy and paste that, it, it won't work. So you got to make sure you just highlight the, 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 just the command in the, in the notepad. Now this will also work on PuTTY. Uh, if you're familiar with PuTTY, instead of using TerraTerm, you could use PuTTY. It works just as well. So this is basically uh, how I do it. So I hope that helps you guys.